All right, hello and welcome. This is our um, little video about a game that we've been making called Heist Adventure. My name is Mike and this is Theo. Yep, and we've been working together to create this game for the Board Game Geek uh, Solitaire Print and Play Contest, which has been going for a couple of months, but is just about to reach the end. So there's a lot of games that are coming together and uh, people are going to be voting on their favorites. So if you get a chance, jump into Board Game Geek, have a look in the um, contests uh, forum and check out all the cool games there's like well, there's over 70 of the games that people have been making so including ours so uh, with a little without any further ado we'll, we'll launch into um, highest adventure Theo can you tell us about what it's about it's about climbing Mount Everest which is basically um, the the first climb to reach the top with Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay so it's just basically how it's about um, just basically about climbing the mountain yeah. and reaching the top. Why did you want to create this game? I don't know. <laughs> I just <laughs> randomly. What were we listening to? Oh yeah, we were listening to the to a podcast, Explorers podcast, um, that had that was about the expedition to climb Mount Everest. So then we thought it would be fun to make a yeah. game about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our team effort and uh, welcome to highest adventure. So uh, as you can see here, we have the um, board. Uh, it's a, it's a print and play game. It's got about uh, um, less than 60 cards, I think something like that, somewhere in that neighborhood. And, um, and there's all sorts of different things that you can do in the game, but your main objective is to reach, um, you start off down here in, in base camp and you end up, up at here. Everest Summit. Yeah, so you start down here at base camp. This is where they start normally. So this is what can you talk tell us a little bit about the this one. It's the Kumbu Glacier where they set up base camp. Um, you may not be able to see, but there's or well, it's it's small that I can see, but it does say fifteenth of April, um, nineteen fifty three, and then it's got a blurb at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Tells you a little bit about it. The yeah. cards will have a little bit of information at the bottom of each of them. Yeah. But they, um, so this is where, this is where the expedition started. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the artwork that the, that people will see in this game. So I made, I made the artwork, which I, I was like just doing artwork. I did the base camp. I was going to do Kambu Glacier, but, um, yeah, Kambu Glacier is base camp, so we don't. So you set up base camp. You don't set it up on Kambu Glacier. It has to be there, no matter what. But also, yeah. So it's just got it's just got my drawings and yeah, they're great see, drawings. You'll see my drawings. <laughs> they're pretty cool. So everybody starts here. Um, you have an expedition, and the expedition it has three um, parts. The first one is the HQ. This is all of the leaders and the porters and things like that. Mm -hmm. eh? The next one is the assault teams. There, are, you have two assault teams, and what are? Can you tell me what are the assault teams? The assault teams are the ones who try get to the mountain. They're the ones who actually climb. The expedition HQ doesn't actually um, only moves from camp to camp regularly, mm -hmm. and they trade out, and then they go. And they, they, so they basically just trade. Mm -hmm. They bring the supplies up, take care of the climbers and stuff like that. But the whole expedition is to try to get these two assault teams, one of these assault teams, to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. So you've got two assault teams. Um, one uh, assault team number one is <clears throat> uh, represents uh, Charlie Evans and Tom Bourdain, Bourdain, who were the first um, assault team, and who was on the second support team? Um, Edmund so. Hillary and Tenzing Norgay. So they were the first to actually reach the top. Yeah, that's right. Actually, Edmund Hillary was the first to actually reach the top. But it was definitely but, a team effort, eh? Yeah. Yep, as we'll discover. So, you start off down here, and, and so this little, the red one will represent the HQ, the yellow one will represent uh, Assault Team 1, and the blue one will represent Assault Team 2. And you'll move your little meeples all the way up these. These are all little locations that we'll reveal as we go to try to get up here to um, Mount Mount Everest. Now a turn is a turn is divided into a couple of different phases. So the first phase that we do is the preparation phase. This is where you keep, you, you equip your really briefly you really uh, you equip your 
uh, expedition, and then you head up the hill. The, um, the second phase is actually walking to the next adventure, or sorry, to the next uh, site. And, and then you, getting encountered. That's right. You'll face encounters, which we'll go over in a second. And then after you've faced all the encounters at that location, you have a chance to kind of regroup and you have a, you have a decision to make. You can either move on um, or you can stop there for the turn and clear and, and clear some of the danger and stuff like that. And then once you've, uh, if you decide to stop, then it moves into the recover phase, um, in which point you will, uh, you can establish another camp or you can um, move your expedition tokens up and down the mountain and then um and then you start a new turn after that so there are a couple of ways to uh, there's one way to win and that is to resolve um all of the encounters up here at at the Everest summit once you once you're up there and um there's a lot of ways that you could lose which is if for example um you have used up all of your weather tokens which are here so every turn every preparation phase you move one of these tokens over here and if you have to move a ninth one over here then you'll lose the game that means that the monsoon season has finally arrived what was bad about the monsoon season it's it's very windy and very cold and lots of and a lot of snow you have to come right back down the mountain it's it's too hard yeah it's definitely too hard it's a little window of opportunity you have um and that starts counting down as soon as the game starts so you have to try to get up there before all of these get on here um, now also there's nine nine of these so you have to you have to continue on eventually yeah yeah so if you go, if you take it slowly, so if you do one every single turn, you're going to run out of time. So you will have to try to do a couple of these in a turn, at least once. Well, you'll have to do it a lot. Try to do it the most amount of times possible, because mm. you could have, if you don't know, but if you've, if you've, if you've like only, only continued on one space and stopped, this that's going to be very bad, mm. because the reason is, you're. You, you may you may actually um, get an encounter that says add one to, to the weather. Yeah, yeah. Also, so. they have they have you start off with one weather, so that gives you less opportunity mm. to actually reach the top quicker. Yeah. So you. So you got to get a move on, don't you? Yeah. So when as you're going up, um, you'll you'll start encountering uh, encounter cards. So for example, this is an encounter card here. We'll flip it over. And this is this is a good example of, of a piece of dropped equipment. So you would have to resolve this encounter, and I'll tell you as we go, um, as we actually go through the game, uh, we'll, I'll show you how to resolve the different types of encounter. But you would resolve this one, and then when it's finished, it would go to the discard pile, and then you would move on. Yeah. So, um, but as before you move, um, you'll start actually. Well, well, we'll cover that actually in a minute. The other, the other type of card is the supply, supply card. card. They, yep. they just basically help you. So what do supply cards do? What they basically they? just um, help you be, be like, get the stuff. Also, on dropped equipment, if, if you don't... Well, you may have noticed there's, there's, a, there's a number on the, on the, in the corner of the of the car supply car when you go to drop the equipment it's got it's got a, it's got a number now if you had had the extra tent and it says lost crate and you go on to lost crate which is very likely you would have to lose you would have to lose the extra tent if you had it because that's a digit of four mm -hmm. yeah so we, we'll cover that out when we get to when we start playing around but for now what we'll do is i will shuffle these back up uh, Wait, this the... gonna, it's not going to be flipped over, the one that... No, I've just shuffled it. So the... No, if you shuffle it, it won't flip it over. That's fine. We have, we've got to draw our first cards. Remember? So um, so the first thing we do is, well, we've got it all set up here. So your assault team, you'll notice that it has um, your assault teams and your expedition HQ. And you've got two health here. Um, that's what these two little red ones are. Two spirit, that's what these two little blue ones are. And four endurance, that's what these yellow ones yeah. are. And the assault teams have three, three, and two each. This represents the fact that um, these guys are quite fit and excited to get to the top, but they are there's only two of them, so they can't carry as much stuff, which is what mm. the endurance is. Whereas the expedition can carry a bunch of stuff, but they're not really fit for going up higher. Plus, you'll notice that the uh, expedition HQ can't move beyond location six. So once it gets to this point, the climbers are going to be on their own. You also have a couple of forward camps. 
These are always active. You can always play these. And as, whenever you want to, during the recover phase, you can play this to a location. So for example, let's say we, we plop it there. And then, then it becomes what we call a haven. And at havens, uh, during the preparation phase, you are able to recover some of your lost health or spirit or endurance. Mm -hmm. The base camp uh, is the best one in that it lets you at, uh, regain two of each. This one is not quite as good, but it still gives you some, which is, which is pretty handy. So I'll put that back up there. These are always available to you. There's 18 cards, 18 supply cards all together that um but the game requires you to take 12 so that means you have to call out six and these these 12 here are um as as we've mentioned before these have the little down in the right hand corner um lower right hand corner a little thing that says starter cards we've kind of prepared a deck for you and that's what that's what this thing is set up to do these are some extra ones that you can swap in if you've had a couple of tries well so i have just Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to pop it there now. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started, and we'll show you a cycle of a turn, and then we'll see how far we can get. Mm -hmm. All right, so first, the first thing we do, and I'll flip this back over, because this is a handy little thing that tells us what we need to do. Uh, the first thing is preparation phase. So we, we need to add a weather token to the destination. That's the first thing we do. So we'll do that now, just like that. Next thing we do is we draw six supply cards, and we keep four. So, and then we discard the rest. So there's one, two, oops, three, four, five, six. Sure. <laughs> so let's flip these over and have a look at what they are. Now these represent, the, the ones that go into our hand represents the ready, or like the, the, the equipment that we have at the ready. So which ones should we choose? Well, I, I, Ice Axe is probably gonna, dis, Ice Axe discards a rock wall or slip encounter, so we'll use that. Okay, and then the one that I think we should definitely take is this crampons. crampons one, so yeah. we'll, we'll go into that in a second. Extra rope again. That's gonna. Extra rope. Yep. Wait, what does what does the ladder do? The ladder has the ladder can just discard a crevasse or a rock wall encounter when we get it, or if we don't need it at the recovery phase, we can discard it to remove some weather because we will yep. be taking a fast track. So those will be our five or four items. These two items, which we don't use now go in here. Well, now when we use up all of these, there's only six more in here you'll see, um, then we'll shuffle these up and they'll, we'll constantly be recycling them so they don't go away forever, they're, they're always there. Yeah, because the you, do, you don't use an ice axe and it disappears. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the other thing we need to do before we get started, sorry this needs to happen during the setup, you'll notice we've got 27 here and the rules say that we start with 20, so that means we just take seven randomly off the top so we've got 20 cards in this in, in this area. We will not encounter these this time. And why we do that is so that every time you play this game, these seven cards are going to change randomly. So you don't you can't really you don't really know what's going to be on the mountain when, when we start up the start up the hill. Okay. Or the mountain, you should say, not the hill. It's yeah. not a hill. Yeah. This isn't a hill. <laughs> Fair enough. That's true. Okay. So here we are. So we've done. Um, we have done our. Um, I'm sorry. I flipped it over on accident. So we have added our weather token, we have drawn our supply cards, and we've kept four and discarded the rest. Well, now, that the step three we can talk about different in late later. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. That's if you can transfer health across any any tokens that are there. Yeah, so now but everyone's we'll move the expedition for help. to the next location. So let's move to the next location. Well, we'll reveal it. Oh, uh, first of all, who are we going to send up? Uh, you. If you don't know, I well you probably don't. Um, I usually move assault team one up first. The reason is, they 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 were the first ones to try climb the mountain. Assault team what two is like the backup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last, last time we played this, um, didn't assault team two get to the top? Uh, almost, yeah. I think assault team two did, yes. So, um, okay, so actually before we move off and before we move out of the preparation phase, one of the things we should definitely do is play our crampons. Crampons. So you'll notice that, that um, supply cards have these, have these boxes called, um, that'll tell you when you can play them. So this one, ha you can play this at two different times. Um, so one is preparation phase. Y you can reduce the danger value of each location by one, and that's what we're going to use it for right now. So I'll put this into play so that... Yeah, so that it's uh, it, it helps us, and this lasts for the entire turn until we decide to stop for the until we decide to stop. 
Okay, so, so we add two. So when what what the first thing we do is we move the character up here. So now we're we're taking assault team one up there. The first thing we look here is up in the right, left hand corner is the danger value of this location. It has danger of two. Ice. So it's going to add two danger to the pool plus one for every token. So if we had decided to move all three of these up there, it would be it would be one, two, three, four, five. But we what well, we decided only to send one and. We've got crampons, which reduces this number value up here by down by one. So basically, we only add, we still add two. Yeah. That's so right. it doesn't, nothing actually really changes. If you're really good, you're probably going to notice that enough. You don't have to actually take any away. You can just add two. Yeah. But it does um, mean that you're not adding a third one for this person. So this person is being very, very cautious, which is good. Um, if we had any other um, things that could be played during the preparation phase, you would look down here. These are all encounter ones, so let's keep an eye on these for the encounter phase. There's another one like crampons as well. Yeah. Okay, so now this one up in the upper right hand corner you'll notice is the is a star. Star. That means that's the encounter card. Yep. You'll see you'll see on the supply there's like a hexagon and you'll see on the counter there's a star. Yeah. So that's that's basically just the symbol. Yep. So that means we move one of these to the queue. There's that's the that's the encounter queue. And then when we're ready, we flip it over. So let's go for it. Let's see. What's the first danger we find? Okay. Ooh, at least I think we have a nice axe. Yes, we do. We do. All right. So under normal circumstances, this is a danger encounter, which means that it depends on how much danger is in the pool. So right now, we've got, if it's zero, zero plus, then you would add one. If it's six or more, you would add two. And if it was ten, then you would lose some health. So in this case, we only have two. So if, if we were going to resolve this, we would add a danger to here. But as Theo said, this does, this one right here, has an ability, an ascent, which is discard a rock wall or a slip encounter. So shall we use that? As long as the next one's not a rock wall. Okay, all right. Well, uh, our ladder will help with the rock wall, see? So Wait, that's flipped over. Why yeah. is it flipping over? Oh, that's really strange. Okay, that's right. We can do that. Okay, cool. So we'll play we'll play our ice axe to prevent the slip, which is awesome. Okay, so now we are in our regroup phase. So if the danger pool has less than ten, which does only has two, you can move on to the next location, and so then we'll return to the encounter phase. So we'll just be bouncing between re regroup and encounter until we decide to stop. So shall until we, carry on? we have to stop. So hmm. we'll carry on. Yep. So this is location three, the Western Coombe. All right. So here we are. Remember that our crampons are still in effect, so that reduces the need to add a, a value for him. So for again, this that's prism. two. So again. we'll add two more, we, and we, we'll add it to the what was already in the pool. So now we're up to four, and in this case, we're adding how many? Two. Two, two encounters. So One, it's two stars means two. two encounters. All right. So now we've got two encounters we're looking at. So here's the first one. A fall. All right. Now the good news is, I think again. In this case, normally, chance a chance encounter means that what you would do is you would reveal the top card of your supply deck. Mm, we need to check the extra rope, I think, that, that yeah. actually. Well, that'll be what we do, but I'm just going to explain what a chance encounter does. So you'll notice um, that it says on a 1 or a 2, a disaster will strike, a 3, 4, 5, severe injuries, and on a 6, you'll arrest the fall, which is fine. So um, how you do that normally is you would reveal the top supply card here, and you'll look at this value up here in the corner. So this is a four. Let's just pretend we flipped this. That means that we would resolve the severe injuries, so we would lose a heart in that case. So that's but, how you would resolve a chance encounter. But as Theo mentioned, we have a secret weapon, which is... Extra rope. That's right. So tied together, this encounter allows us to play a full, or to discard a folk encounter in play. So we've got some really good... We, we made some good choices in terms of what mm -hmm. we kept this turn. So that was good. All right. Second one, depleted oxygen. So we have, this is a choice encounter. We have, we have to choose one of these two options. We either ration the remaining, which we lose some spirit and some endurance from, from um, Assault Team 1, or we swap the oxygen bottles and keep moving. So which one should we do? So swapping oxygen bottles will add weather to the destination. What do you think we should do? I think we should just add one here, because if we make it up through here, then we can use this to, re to remove the... during the recover phase. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so we will swap the oxygen bottles to resolve that. 
Okay, now this is the end of the recovery, or the um, that was the end of the encounter, so we can now choose to carry on, so I think maybe we should. Yeah, we, we want to get as less as possible. If you can go on, go on. Yeah. We're at full strength, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, this time it adds three. So I have three. One, two, three. So you do need to keep an eye on this danger pool to make sure it doesn't get too high. As soon as that hits seven, you you can no or so as long as you hit ten, you can no longer can keep going. I think we should stop here. Well, we'll see how we go. Okay. So, Valley of Silence is the name of this location, and it looks like it's adding um, two encounters. So here we go, one, two, and here we go. Our first encounter <coughs> is an abandoned camp. So, again, it's a chance encounter, so let's <coughs> reveal the, what we have here. We'll flip that over. Spare clothing, it's a one. So what happens here is we've discovered a shredded tent. So we've wasted time looking for things, so we will add a danger, which is what that does. I think we've definitely got to stop unless something will remove it. Yeah, well, looks like we've just struck a tragedy. Tragedy, tragedies, um, any any of these um, ones that have a big lock up in the corner means that you have to halt. You have to stop your exhibition. You cannot choose to carry on any further. So that's what that, that, that tells me immediately, well, this is something big. Now let's have a look at the, the, the text, which is a shocking moment. So we have to halt all expedition cards and lose one spirit from each expedition card in play, whether it's here or not. So it's each one. So everybody loses a blue token. Something terrible has happened. And someone's died. Yeah. Okay. So now we can't. We cannot choose to continue. We could continue if if we hadn't have had encountered that. We could probably continue one more. But there's eight in the danger pool. But there are some uh, encounters that get more deadly the more danger there is. So it's probably a good idea to stop here. So what's a good, what should we, um, so now we're in, uh, we've decided to stop, so we move into a recovery no, we phase. No, we didn't decide. Oh yeah, we didn't decide, but we have to stop. So now we're in a recovery phase. We are Step one, we are, we can establish a camp at this location. Should we establish a camp here? I think so. Because yeah. if we move it at, maybe if we move it at, at six, six is, probably we should establish it at, at, at six, so, so there's a... Or maybe it's seven. Let's establish mm. one at seven. Okay. So we'll, oops, we'll, we'll put um, we'll put our forward camp here, which is cool. Now the next thing we do is we can move expedition tokens between camps. Now that we've got a camp here, we can move these guys up. So yeah, do it. Let's do it. So we'll move these guys up to here and up to here. Okay, and the other thing we can do in the recovery phase is we can play this to remove some weather from the destination. Let's play it. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Oops, this this also needs to be moved over here. And then we remove one of these, which is cool. So but now, we won't exactly have to. Yeah, that gets discarded at the end of the turn as well, Grandpa's does. And then we... Um, and then we are ready for another turn. So that's kind of the, that's the basic turn here. Now the next thing we can do, which is we've got some um, hurt characters at the moment, with some spirit being removed. At the end of the turn, we get rid of that. And then we we um, have a look at the supply cards again. So we will go one, two, three. Oops, that one. For some reason, some of these are face up, which is not. That's right. because you you mixed them when they were face up. Oh, I see. Okay, probably. All right. Okay, so here we are. Well, this is what we drew for this turn. So it looks like we got crampons again, and that was lucky. So we'll take those. We also got a Sherpa guide, which does the same thing as crampons, but does have an extra ability um, later. You can choose between one of those two abilities. So I, think I we did. Take those two. I did. I did tell you that there was another one that did the same ability. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's pretty handy. So which one of these should we do? So let's grab some... Spare oxygen will just choose any... There's a tip here. Choose any one that will discard an encounter. Yeah, they're pretty handy. But those that's the only ones we had. So now we've got extra tent. We've got regroup, which allows us to redistribute our icons, or our um, tokens. Or we've got a portable stove, which allows us to grab uh, some miscellaneous uh, health. Or we can use it in the recovery phase to have a cup of tea and gain some spirit back. So, yeah, let's 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 go for the portable stove. Portable stove, sure. Okay, so we'll pop that in there. These guys go in there. All right. Okay. So now um, we've got our we have our um, 
our cards. The next thing we do is we start transferring health and we start healing. So the other thing is there's just still preparation phase. Everyone is here, so we can so we get to add one of each type of um, token, but we only are missing one spirit. So we can only take one of these, and we'll give it to uh, Soul Team Two. And the other thing that we can do is trade. Is we can trade. So we can move this to here to get them up and operational. And now you notice that the, the Expedition HQ now has no more spirit. When any of these cards ha is missing all of its one of all of its type of icons, it means it's now exhausted. And exhausted cards can't move up the hill at all, but they can move down the hill. Do you mean mountain? They can't move up hills. <laughs> yeah, it's right. not a hill. <laughs> Stop saying hill. You said it like a billion times. All right, let's keep the uh, let's keep the volume down here. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the next thing we do is okay. So we've transferred those things. Now we get to decide again who is going to go up the mountain. So who are we going to send up? A whole team one. A whole team one again. All right. Always. All right, so we're up on location five. This is a lotsy face, so assault team. Oops, no, I don't want to take. <laughs> oh, yeah, location, want, we don't want to take uh, the. Uh, we don't want to take <laughs> the million science. Uh, but we'll we'll also play the crampons and the sherpa guide. Why stop turning over? This is so annoying when it does that. So these will stack, which means that they will reduce the value of each of them by one. So I mean, do you mean so by, by two. two? By a total of two. Normally so we would add three plus one is four, but with these two we're adding just two. Yep. Yep. Two. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So two danger. And how many? We've got three encounters. So things are starting to get a bit riskier now. Higher up the mountain you go, to, the more. That's right. Yeah. If you have a the rock wall should actually be a Hillary step, which is one of the ones. Mm. Okay. Here's our first one. I don't know why. Blocked oxygen. So this one is um, depends on the number of how much ice there is, or, or sorry, um, a danger there is. Right now there is uh, uh, two, so that fits uh, on the stuck valve one. So we would lose one endurance from health from team one. Um, we can later uh, use this to recover that back. That so this this deals with depleted oxygen, not blocked oxygen. So. Um, so we can we can try and fix that later. Crevasse. All right. So we have got a couple options here. We can either um, try to jump over, and you can see that there's like a 66% chance that we're going to fail, and a and a 30% chance that we'll succeed. Or we can carefully cut steps, which means that we did add one to the weather. Um, and there's only one at the weather right now, so and I think we would be pretty safe. Should we carefully cut some steps? I think that's probably a wise choice. All right. Because we might lose. All right. Next one, thing. encounter. Last. This should be the last one. So this is the dropped equipment that we saw at the beginning. So again, we will reveal a card. So here we go. It is a four. So that means we have to lose a value of two from our hand. So right now we can lose. We can lose this, but that's only value one. Mm, or have to we lose have to lose value our, so our spare oxygen bottles go flying down the hill, the mountain, <laughs> <laughs> and crash somewhere. Okay, so that's that one. So we've cleared our we've cleared the encounters. We still have these going. So shall we carry on to location six? Mm -hmm. All right, here that's we go. where we should establish our next camp. All right, the south call. Yeah. There, also, there is a picture of a camp there. Yeah. Do you want to talk about what a call is? Do you remember what a call is? It's it's so there's two mountains as you can see, um, but it's the area between the mountains where they meet, right? Yeah, where they yeah. meet. So this is um, where they set up um, the uh, camp. Yep, yeah, that was camp s uh, seven. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh. So. All right. So now we've got again. <laughs> it's been reduced by two. So. Um, <laughs> So we will add two more to the pool. So we're back up to four now. <laughs> this is pretty dangerous still. So there's three encounters. Okay. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Oh, no. All right, a slip. Okay, so we've got four in there. Um, so we will add a danger as a result bye. of that one. Bye-bye. Next one. 
A storm. All right, so there's five in there. So we have to lose four. Um, there's a blizzard, so we have to lose four uh, uh, supply points. So we've got one here. Oh, bye-bye portable stove. Let's hope the next ones are three. So we need to, we now we need, yep, yep. So <laughs> we're lucky. That's all we had to discard. If that was lower than that, then we would have to continue discarding until we met that four. So that's how those. That's how that works. Mm. All right, last one. Avalanche. So we've got five again. Now we lose two health from Assault Team One. So one, I think we're safe to keep on going. We could. It means that we won't stop and, and establish the camp, but we could. We could Let's establish a camp. All right. So we'll stop for the turn. Um, See you later, alligators. We will take the camp. We'll pop it here. Pop. And then that's the end of the turn. So first thing, we'll clear the danger. The danger goes away. Um, we will then uh, the next thing we'll do is we will step, uh, move to expedition tokens between camps. Now remember that the expedition HQ is currently exhausted, so it can't move up the mountain. But uh, Assault Team 2 certainly can. So we will move the Assault Team 2 up. And it might be it might be easier quicker if we send these guys back down to base camp because that base camp will heal them up faster than, than these will. And the other thing we can do with Assault Team 2 is we could move them down to... or Assault Team 1, we can move them down to here. Why? Uh, because then they can get, they can get more... Uh, more tokens from here and and these ones well, actually no these guys are fully healthy aren't they <coughs> yeah so they might as well stay up there <coughs> okay cool and also by the way you can't you don't have to why why are you thinking about that see see that's only going to add one that's only going to add one yeah but if assault team 2 had less health then it would make sense to kind of split them up so you could use all of the health healing that you possibly can get but it's okay we don't need to do that now Okay, so then we need to look, have a look at our new supply cards. There's one, two, three, four, we'll shuffle those, five, six, and see what we got. Okay. Ladder. Definitely a ladder. It's a good Extra idea. Extra rope. Extra rope. Where's that one? Here it is. Yep. Doesn't the spare clothing discard, um... So spare clothing will discard frostbite, but it'll also uh, get us back some spirit if we um, wanted to. Mm, yeah, but uh, we've got maximum spirit. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Should we get the health? This one gives us health. No, get the spare clothing. Okay. And what does extra gear do? Extra gear will add one to any revealed result in any phase, or in the recovery phase we can use extra um, any extra supply value to you get us something. You could gain one or one or one. But we have, to, we have to discard this with another, with a value of one. So that means we would have to discard something else in order to use it. Portable stove? Portable stove, yep, yeah. that's probably a good one. We could actually use portable stove right away, because, um... No, but then you'd have to spend some of those. No, because it's, because what you've got here is, on um, portable stove you can just just play it to gain one, but or you can boost it with a value of two from from your current cards. Um, so you, do, you discard like extra rope along with it, or a ladder with it to gain two health, or a three to gain um, three. Or at the very end, you can use it to um, to get a cup of tea. So we could use it like right now, just just discard it just to get one health back, which will pop it on there. Let's and then do this. And then, and then this preparation phase, you would get one of each. So you would get one more, and one more. And oh. these these guys down here can get two. They're fully so, healthy. So everybody's back to full strength when they when now they're down there. Okay. Okay, we still have two more locations to go. We have two. We actually have three locations to go. We don't have anything that reduces the danger pool, so we don't have our crampons or or, or our um, Sherpa guide ready at the moment. So, who do you want to send to location seven? Assault team one. Okay. <laughs> you know, I always send assault team one. <laughs> okay. So we're at the balcony. So the balcony is is kind of like the first major obstacle um, before you get up to the summit from the south call. Um, All right. 
here it's going to be adding four danger to it and three encounters. All right, let's get going. So boom, one, two, boom. three, four, and then three encounters. One, two, three. All right. Keep and thinking. four and five in the danger pool. Uh, oh, five. Yes, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> this. Okay. Okay. Don't try to cheat. <laughs> I won't try to cheat. I promise. Okay. First encounter, frozen boots. So we lose, so we have to choose to either lose some endurance or add to the destination. Add. Oh, we didn't, did, we didn't add one of these, did we? We forgot, mm. we forgot to add that last turn. Okay, so do we want to add weather to the destination or shall we lose some endurance? What do you think? I think we're pretty good on time, so maybe we should add to the destination. Add mm -hmm. some weather. Okay. There's a lot of weather at the day. Ooh, yeah, we're halfway. Yeah. Okay, this is yeah, good. We've got to get through these. Yeah. Uh, lose one for each expedition token. Yeah, see, it's a good thing we didn't. So um, you'll lose one endurance token. But you didn't. But you didn't. Did you know that mountaineers cursed? You had the force or something? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. So the mountaineers cursed. Do you remember what the mountaineers curse was? This is what Hillary said. Hard. Snow looks like it's hard snow on top, but what's underneath? <laughs> yeah, it's soft snow underneath. I eh? yeah. All right, last encounter. Here we go. Fall. All right. Do we have anything that stops a fall? We do indeed. We will play our extra rope. Bye bye. Hang on. Let that flip over. There we go. Boom. Okay. Cool. See you later. Fall. Okay. So we made it. It wasn't, it wasn't so bad. We were almost. We almost um. We're almost tired here with Assault Team 1, but we can continue up to 8. Should we try to clear 8? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Four. Another four, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Icicles. All right, so this is going to be... Icicles. This is going to be pretty hard. I don't think we're... Well, we won't be able to continue because we have now 10 danger in the pool. All right, so tough going. We either lose some spirit or some endurance. So these guys have plenty of spirits. So why don't we lose that? Bye bye. Okay, cool. Thin air. Next, rock slide. Now we've got ten, so we have to lose three or remove the expedition cards here to the previous location. Lose three. So we, we can't lose three because we've got only one. Well, so. that's that's still gonna help. No, why are you moving him back? Remember, remember, we still have to be, we still have to halt anyway. Yes, we do, but see, um, we've got 10 danger in the pool, so that means the boulder is triggered. That means we have to lose either 3 endurance, which we can't do, we only have um, t 1, or we have to move the expedition cards here to the previous location. So we have That's to do that second one. Why? Because we don't have 3 endurance to lose. But, no, we don't have to. Yep, you have to choose one of those two. And we can't choose lose three because we only have one to lose. So this has to go back to here. But that's okay. All right. <laughs> Exhausted. All right. So here we can halt the expedition. I think since we're stopping anyway, we might as well choose halt the expedition. We don't have to choose. Yeah. We can't choose. <laughs> that's true. All right. And the last one here is fatigue. So we lose one heart. So we'll go to there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that guy's pretty damaged. Yeah. So he's pretty, he's pretty tired. So we'll clear these since we're now moving into the recovery step. Okay, move... don't add weather anymore. So these guys can move down the hill to there. Oh, stop saying hell! <laughs> the mountain. <laughs> um, and then, um, cool, and we have these still. We haven't used them. So we, do we want to try to remove one from the destination with the ladder? Yep, yo! Okay, cool. Yep. Oi, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know why it keeps flipping him over. That's quite, that's quite irritating. Uh, and then this one, we might as well keep a hold on. Hold on for now. Okay. Is... So, that's the end of the turn. That looks like we've discovered all of them. <laughs> we've got pretty close, haven't we? All right. So now, <clears throat> let's pull these out. Looks like there's a man climbing a mountain on that, and not on the picture, but in real life. <laughs> Wait, why are you turning over six? We need to... Oh, let's see. Okay, that was the last one I did, so I'll go back there. 
Um, okay, so here's what we have. Boy. Crampons, we have, triple guide. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely grab these two. Uh, ice axe for sure. Okay, then done. We are finished. Yep. Okay, we can not those. add any more. And those. Okay. Play crampons, please. Yep. Yeah, let's definitely do that. So we've got our crampons. And, Oi! Stop it. Uh, um, Oi, stop it! Okay, that's not funny. Um, crampons and Sherpa Guide. So that'll reduce our, our danger by one. Um, and then we can... Let's see what's the next thing we're going to do. So who... Oh, and then we got we got some healing to do. And we can uh, use this... Oops. Crampons. That was okay. That's very, very frustrating. Okay. So... Um, so we've got some healing, so we can do one of each token for these guys. So we've got one, so they'll get one of those, one of those, and one of those. Okay. They're, all, they're fully healthy now. Yep. All right, so who are we going to send up? Now, and, and when we get up to this point, sometimes it's better to send two teams up and then make a run for the summit with one of them, if one of them gets stopped. So should we send both of them up? Guess what? That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll send them both up to the next to the next location. <laughs> so now, in this case, normally you would you would add two because of these guys, but our, with with our crampons and trip of guys, we only need to worry about. Um, oh, we've got a connection issue. Let me just wait a second for this to to. Uh, oops, and it's back. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, so we got our crampons and our trip of guy to be able to. Reduce that danger a bit, so we just have to add four, which is really good. Uh, and then we have three encounters. So one, bye bye. two, <coughs> let me just shuffle these up. Three. Okay, here we go. First one. Dropped equipment again. So, here we go. What are we, we going to, what's going to happen? Two. So we have to lose f a value of four from from here. So unfortunately that means we have to lose our ice axe. Uh, which is what the illustration shows us as well. Mm -hmm. This poor guy's lost his ice axe and so have we. Um, <laughs> shuffle those up again now that that's depleted. Next one. Alright, it's another one of these. Alright, what do we got? Two. Collapse. So we have to lose two and two. So in this case, we can we can. This is a, a good way to make sure we kind of make sure that um, we're splitting things up a little bit. All right, next one, avalanche. So we got four. So we just have to lose one. So we'll lose it off of assault team one. And that's that. Okay. Move both teams up to the next location. All right, we'll move up to the next one. ASAP. <laughs> so we will go one, two, three, four, and again. Did you, was there four in there already? Yep. Oh. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, and here we go. First one, frozen boots. So we can either lose some endurance or we add one to the destination. Which one should we do? In the destination, we probably add one here. That way we don't lose. More. Yeah. We don't lose stuff at the moment. Okay. Oh, we, we'll lose yeah. something. Time! <laughs> eight. So now we have to lose. See, now this is, that was probably good. So now we have to lose, or we have eight in danger, so that's me. It'll trigger ice buildup, which is lose two. So we're going to lose two here. So one. Uh, should we just exhaust Assault Team 1? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do so it. Assault Team 1 is, is probably not going to be able to move on. So those uh, sacrifices have been noted. Um, so over there, we'll flip this two. So again, we have to lose two more health. So that's that's dangerous. So one, two. Okay. Oops. Okay, last one. Uh, tragedy. No, that's not what we want. <laughs> so everybody has to lose one of these. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Don't move from this location, otherwise you'll fail your destiny. destiny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now it's the end of the first turn, so we've got to send, we'll probably, we need to send this guy down. <laughs> to the, to the hill. I'm not going to get to the 
I'm not gonna um, get there for them. <laughs> these get discarded as well. One, two, discard regroup. And then um, we discard this danger. And Assault we discard two. some time. Assault Team 2 is still in position. They can have a try at going to the summit. But in order to claim this, they can't be exhausted. And they're really close to being exhausted. So I don't really know. The other thing we can do is we can bring these guys up to here. Should we bring these guys back down? Uh, why? I don't know. Oh, actually, these guys should be healed. Because they spent that extra turn down there. Um, two. Should we send two the down? The healing two. No, this, that guy has to heal too. Well, we haven't healed yet. He's, this, these guys are all... The expedition has arrived. Expedition HQ has arrived with a bunch of extra supplies. We can definitely get Assault Team 1 back up and going. But the question is, should we bring these guys or should we have them go? Have a go? <laughs> oh, no. These guys are going to have to climb back all the way up through these locations to get up there. So maybe we'll just leave them there for now. Mm. Okay. So now we do some healing, which is, um, so these guys will add one of each to, and so we'll get one there, one there, and one there. Would you please and these guys can transfer that stuff over that direction. I'm just... Why am I... Okay, so Assault Team 1's all fully up and going, and then we need to draw six of these, one, two... Three, four, and last one. Five. Wait, no, 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 no! Oh, yeah. Thank you. I did say five, didn't I? Okay. Here's what we have available to us. Extra rope. Extra rope. Give yep. me extra rope and give me ladder Letters. and give me extra. Give me extra gear. I think. We could play this and get and um, heal up. Yeah, let's do that. Heal up those guys a little bit. All right, discard those. Okay, so it's the preparation phase. So we'll play, we'll play extra tent, which is which will we can choose any one of the tokens to give to assault team two. So what should we give them? Health or spirit? Probably some health, hey. Mm, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So they found a little tent. They hunkered down for a little bit, like a little tiny haven. Um, these guys have been healed up. They've got everything they need. All right, let's let's send let's send these guys up, shall we? So then now we have to re-encounter this location. So hmm? why why can't we get those guys to have a try at the summit? These guys, I think we should get these guys to come up here and then they go together. Hmm. And have a try. That way they can kind of. Or do you want to just try it now? Okay. Should we should we, should we just try these guys? Send them up. We might as well. And we have to add one of these from this beginning of this turn. Okay, yeah, all right, let's try it. Nothing okay, <laughs> but if we get exhausted, we're gonna yeah, have we'll, to... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go back down the mountain. Yeah, how many is that? Three, four, okay. We just have to make it through these four encounters. If we do, we win the game. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, and there's five. We actually have to add five, because this adds five, plus one is six, actually. Okay, so... Think we can do it? I We've think got these things. So. We got, we should be, it might help us out. Maybe. All right, here we go. Fatigue. So we lose a heart right off the bat. Okay. Let's see how it's going to be. <laughs> All right. Next one. All right. We can lose. What are we losing? It's a fall. Actually, we can just discard it with this extra rope. Bye bye. We have. We are prepared. Yeah. Ooh, that was that close. That would have been bad. Avalanche are six here, so we have to lose two. Darn it. We've got nothing that protects us from Avalanche. And nothing does. Yeah, unfortunately we lose <laughs> one. Wait, Avalanches don't come to at the top. Well they can do. When you're it's not you're not all the way up to the top yet. Alright, this one is six, which means we have to lose four from here. Uh man, so there's one, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven. All right, that's that's too bad. All right, cool. So these guys are exhausted, so they can't claim. They have to go back to the previous location. Okay. So that is the turn. So now we have to um, 
I, I was going to say we could move him up there. These guys? No, no, I mean these guys. All oh, right, these guys up. All right, well, that's all right. We got another turn. We can do it. So at the end of the at the end of the turn, we, we could clear our danger tokens, send people to different locations. I think we should send. Um, Back to base camp. Hey, why are you why are you moving them up? Good. Down. That the, way, that way, if if these guys these guys can just get a little bit, and we send these guys all the way back down to base camp. That means these guys, um, we can put two health on each on each of these guys, so we'll be able to do one, two, one, two. So we'll get assault team two back in operation. No. These guys. They don't have two health. They don't have two health. Well, yeah, they won't be fully fully healed. That's okay. All right. Yikes. Well, we tried. That's okay. Uh, new turn means we move another weather token over, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six. I do. I would say that it's, it's a bit tricky how they, how the how you can't how you can't move them into Hillary's steps or mm. ladder. Ladder, of course. Spare oxygen. Spare oxygen. Yep. Maybe extra tent again. Extra tent. Yep. Sure. Just in case. And uh, portable stove. Regroup lets you kind of shuffle your stuff around. So maybe that'll that'll actually help. I think if we can hold on to it, we don't get stuck by a mountain or, or a wind or something. Okay, we've got to make this, but you don't have a lot of time left, so there's only two two things there. If we can get up to that mountain as quick as quick as possible, that'll be that'll be good. Okay, oh, we've got some healing to do real quick before we move on. So expedition one can have one of each type of token. So here is one of these, one of these, and one of these. So they're not exhausted anymore. Assault team two gets two. One, two, one, two. Okay. Now we move. So assault team one. Right. Assault team one. They're gonna encounter how many? Uh, three. One, two, three. They're gonna have four, five, five in the pool there. And let's get started. Probably you will lose. Add, add one danger. <clears throat> no. Slip. Uh, abandon camp. I don't think we to... are. So that's we add another danger. You know, I think we, I think all the sixes are in there. Are in the. Uh, next one is rock slides. So we lose a health and a <coughs> and a um, endurance. Okay. All right. <coughs> The problem is, if we, if we continue, it's going to get 10, and we're definitely going to have to stop, because we can't, we won't be able to make it to Summit with that much danger already in the pool. So maybe they'll just stay put there for this turn. Okay. Why? No, why can't we just move there? And, and, and get then... ready. Should we try it? Okay. Yep, that's fine. That just means that we won't be able to continue. I know, but that means that we will have a better chance of getting to the summit. You're right, absolutely right, 100%. Okay, here we go. First encounter. Mountaineer's Curse, lose one endurance. Uh, well, they're already exhausted, which is a problem, but we do have extra tents, so next turn we could probably give them, give them something. Thin air, so we can't lose more endurance, but we can lose spirit for thin air. All right, next one. Halt the expedition. Yes, we're gonna. We're already gonna halt this one. That's fine. Depleted oxygen. Okay. Bye bye. Depleted oxygen. We have something else that. We oh, can. we do. Yeah, you're right. Excellent. Okay, cool. So we're gonna put that there. Play the depleted oxygen. Discards that. Cool. So now they're safely kind of hanging out at Hillary's step. Okay. Next preparation phase. Okay, so we are only going to draw three. Crap bombs, definitely. Okay, but 
Then back. And then, um, oh, at the end of last turn, we can move these guys up. So why don't we move them up to here and to here. And then we can move that last bit of health over to here. Okay, so Assault Team 2 is prepped. Now we need to play no. crampons. I think we're probably going to... Wait. This is we can, assault team. Wow, look at that. So we'll, we can play this to give them some endurance. Oh yeah, we got that. Should we just get a try at the summit? And then we can have a go. So who do we want to move up? So we can either have, move these guys up with this, with that. Oh or... no, we're gonna have to add another one. Yeah. Yes, we have to move them up if we want to get it. Or do we want to move these guys? Do we want to move Assault Team 2 and try to and try to do three sites in one turn? No, time? we'll have to risk it. We'll have to risk moving Assault Team 1 up because... Right. Oh yeah, because they're not, they're not going to make it. Well, they, they might. You'll we'll stack up 8 danger just between these two. So, okay. so No, we'll stack up two, three, 10 danger. Four, five. Well, we've got crampons as well. We're playing crampons. Okay, so they've added 5 to there. One, two, three, four encounters. Yikes, this is going to be big. Okay, think we can do it? Try. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Storm. That's five, so I have to lose four points. Oh, there goes all of our equipment. Ugh, stop. All right. Exhausted. So we halt them there. We could try to halt, since we're on top of the mountain. Yeah, we'll try to halt. A slip. So we have to add two... No, add one. So there's only five there. Okay, that's good. Last one. If we make one. it through this one, we'll win. Alright, so we can add one, or we can try to do that. We can add it. It just means that... If we ever needed to add a ninth one, then that's when we would lose. Wait, so, wait, take that off? Remember? No, no, no. Put that back on. I mean, take the crevasse off. Mm -hmm. We won. That's it. Yep. Barely. So, Assault Team 1 makes it to the top, makes it to the destination. The last time Assault Team 2 did it, and... Yeah. <laughs> so, Assault Team 2 is ready to rock and roll if they needed to. So that's how you play Heist Adventure. We had some kind of uh, ups and downs in there, and um, um, we hope that you enjoyed watching. And So um, if you play it, don't expect it to be easy peasy. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> yeah, it can, it can sneak up on you when you least expect it. And I think yeah, so that's why you have to be prepared. Get all the equipment that will, de like, will stop your equipment from, like, that will stop an encounter. That's right. Yeah, so you've definitely got to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Mm -hmm. And that's, so that's mm -hmm. Highest Adventure. And you can mm -hmm. find all the files on Board Game Geek and um, where you can, where the, you will, can also find the uh, all of the other competitions that are happening yep. right now. And uh, if you go to Board Game Geek and have a look at the yep. um, uh, Board Game Creation and Works in Progress fo folders, you can find the Highest Adventure here. All the files are here. A link to the, um, to the browser application we were just using. Yep. It's here, and that'll 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 take you to, and you can play your own game. Uh, leave leave any f feedback or comments. We're always keen to hear. And then um, have a look at uh, the this geek list here that's being populated with all seventy three games for this competition. There's so many cool things. These are great mm -hmm. solitaire games. You can play them during lockdown. A lot of them have um, a version of uh, on uh, play card play cards io, which is what we were using today, which is what this application mm -hmm. is. So you can play your you can play the games as well. This it's basically just a computer version of a card game. Yeah. That this is. Yep, it's great, and 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 once you kind of get used to it, you can you can play lots of games and, and have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's highest adventure. Thank you for joining us for about an hour. Unfortunately, sorry, we didn't. We kind of messed around a little bit explaining yeah. the rules, but usually these games they'll probably be about a half an hour or so. Yeah. Um, once, yeah. once, once you get going, once you know what you're doing, um, mm -hmm. there are there's other customizations that you can do in the game. Remember, yeah. there's yeah. there's these there's these that uh, there's um, these encounters which we didn't even um, find. 
So one of these ones, uh, you'll, you'll, yep, here we go. The Yeti, Yeti tracks. You'll see that you can even encounter Yeti and things, which is kind of That's fun. actually true. They did yeah. encounter it down at the base camp. Yeah, they found some stuff down there. Um, the other, the other thing that you can do is you can change swap cards out in there, uh, in your supply deck for some, you really some of these should, things. You really should choose a camera or national flags. I, I did not realize that they were the, um, only two that were sixes, <laughs> so you will not get a success at all. So maybe we can change it to get some national flags and camera. We may choose the um, starter deck or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, we may yeah. change yeah. the starter decks. Um, one so we can basically just yeah. So you can improve yeah. you can improve your your draws mm -hmm. and things like that by customizing your deck. So there's a bit of customizability there, and we have some ideas on how to add some mm -hmm. expansion material eventually. Maybe um, maybe after this after this um, uh, competition, we might we were thinking about doing a um, one based on rebels. Um, no, it's no, a no 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 the or, um, the um, or Star Wars or something. <laughs> Nothing. We were thinking know. about doing an expansion for this for the mountain one. Oh yeah, Mallory's climb. Yeah. I've been doing it. Yeah. Basically, I've just been. I we did. It's from the podcast as well, which is which is actually the setting up for the game. So there's sunglasses in this game, mm -hmm. in the next one, which is just basically sunglasses that you <laughs> add. Cause, cause they did have they did have problems. You need sunglasses With all and the smells, snow so. blind is also in it. There's other ones as well. Yeah, there's also some new challenges that will, that you can add to it. So it'll increase. It adds a bunch of supply cards, a bunch of encounters, and gives you a new line of these. So you you'll have a bunch of different locations you can go to, um, as well. So that's the plan. So they have gifts to the gods, and there's I think I'm I I'm pretty sure I made one about um the the guard dogs um that of the of the guard dogs um that they have in Ma in the Mallory in the Mallory climb. Well, yeah. It's actually the Sherpas thought they heard it from the god. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's called gifts to the gods basically. That there's just an expansion for that sort of thing. Yeah, that'd be really exciting. We we love we love working on this together. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Leave your comments um, and uh, and be sure and we'll put up all the information that we can possibly do into the uh, description below. So thanks yeah. for thanks for watching.